Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn, September 24, 2024. The moon heads into your solar house for a stay of over two days, making you especially aware of your responsibilities and performance. Today's energies are complicated by a Venus-Pluto square and sign shifts, potentially interfering with decision-making or handling money and relationship dynamics. Keep your eye out for unhealthy attachments. Fear of not having control over your life can lead you to hold on to things, people, and situations. However, consciously allowing yourself to let go in areas where you are overattached, even a little, can be cathartic now. It can be frustrating if you're dealing with clashes regarding personal finances, values, and ideas with someone. However, these conflicts could also bring up important issues that need addressing. As the mighty sun, our great luminary, has left you behind, he will bring his light to new areas of your life. As he ventures through Libra, a whole new zodiac season has begun. He will draw significant attention to your solar house of income, wealth, and possessions, which may force you and your one and only to start budgeting for some big things or experiences yo. You'd like to invest in. If single, this is a time to dazzle up and purchase some fabulous new wardrobe, accessories, or objects that will impress potential suitors whom you cross paths with. What should you profit from? Financial matters will become your main priority since the Sun will enter Libra, and Venus will enter Scorpio. Your financial security and stability could rock the boat throughout Libra season. It is time to strike a balance between your spending and saving habits. If you want to be financially stable, then Venus in Scorpio energy can help. You may benefit from doing more research and homework on what you could profit from. Taking a financial seminar and learning from a teacher could be helpful. Try to give to yourself before you give to others. Meaning, focus on your wellness before you try to benefit from giving a sense of well-being to others. It isn't easy but is an important ability to cultivate. On any given day ask yourself what you've done for yourself, a nice refreshing run in the fresh air, particularly healthy meals and lots of water, a decision to have an early night for a good rest. These are the things that truly matter. Today, you are going to be ABL. E. To make a situation more concrete and have more weight in your professional life. Don't hesitate to roll up your sleeves but avoid being sloppy. You need to take responsibility for your decisions and get involved with those you collaborate with a little more. In your personal life, you will discover the qualities of someone close to you who had left you rather indifferent up to the present you may even envision forming a couple with them. Ah, it's nice to uncover the hidden treasures of those close to you. The week may have felt like a wild roller coaster at times, but as you reach the final full day of your birthday month, you are likely to experience a newfound sense of confidence and empowerment. Across nearly every aspect of your life, you probably now have a much clearer understanding of your wants, needs, and priorities compared to last week. This clarity is helping you set intentions and resolutions that will guide this new year on the most authentic path for you. It is during the last full day of your birthday month that both the sun, in his last day in Virgo and the moon, in its final hours in an adventurous part of your chart are forming a friendly aspect to Pluto in Yo. You are romantic sector. With planets on the romantic and adventurous fronts in retrograde motion but the sun looking to the future, this is a chance to move into this new solar with confidence and the ability to embrace the future while exploring the doors still open to the past and second chances. Our eyes in the sky. The cosmos is buzzing with energy today, and you may feel a strong pull toward deepening your relationships and partnerships. However, as enticing as that energy is, today might not be the best day for making financial decisions or embarking on shopping sprees. The planetary shifts are stirring up a heightened sense of impulsiveness, especially when it comes to splurging on big-ticket items or making investments. It's easy to get swept up in the excitement and overlook the long-term implications. Have you ever bought something on a whim, only to later realize it wasn't worth the price? We've all been there it's a common experience, and today, 
the universe is encouraging you to pause and reflect before acting on those urges. Think about it have you ever spent hours on a problem that, in hindsight, didn't really need solving? Today's cosmic energy is guiding you to be more selective. Focus on the issues or goals that truly require your attention, and let the rest go. By doing so, you'll conserve your energy for the challenges that genuinely align with your path and purpose. What's one area of your life right now that could use a little more focus? Or maybe there. As something you need to let go of. Feel free to share your experiences in the comments we're all navigating these energies together, and sometimes, just voicing what's on your mind can bring clarity. Now, let's dive deeper into the powerful cosmic shifts taking place. The Sun is entering Libra, while Venus moves into passionate Scorpio. This combination signals the start of a transformative period, particularly in the realms of relationships, balance, and our deepest desires. Libra season officially begins with the fall equinox, a time of equilibrium, harmony, and fresh starts. You might find yourself naturally seeking more balanced, reciprocal connections during this time. Think about your relationships where are you craving more harmony? Where could you benefit from restoring balance? Libra's influence encourages us to create peace and fairness in our lives, both in how we relate to others and how we treat ourselves. Have you ever noticed how, when things are balanced in your personal life, everything seems to flow more smoothly? Libra season is the perfect time to reflect on these dynamics and make any necessary adjustments. What does balance look like for you, not only in Relat? Ion ships but in all areas of your life? At the same time, Venus in Scorpio brings a more intense, passionate energy to our relationships. Scorpio doesn't do anything halfway, and when Venus is in this sign, you may find yourself desiring deeper, more transformative connections. Superficiality won't cut it Scorpio craves intimacy, emotional honesty, and authenticity. If you've been yearning for a more profound bond with someone, this is the time to explore that. But remember, with Scorpio's influence comes the temptation to control or get tangled in emotional power dynamics. The key here is to lean into vulnerability and seek true intimacy rather than trying to control outcomes. Have you ever noticed that when you open up and allow yourself to be vulnerable, your relationships deepen in ways you didn't expect? Let's talk about Theta Euro, how does emotional intimacy show up for you, and what does it mean to you? On the financial front, you might find that your advice is in high demand today. People may come to you seeking guidance on money matters or projects, and while it's wonderful to share your wisdom, remember to maintain your boundaries. It's great to help others, but have you ever found yourself giving so much of your energy that you're left too exhausted to pursue your own goals? Today, the universe is asking you to strike a balance between giving and receiving. Also, remember that sometimes, listening is just as important as giving advice. Have you noticed that when you truly listen to others, you learn as much as they do? Today is a great opportunity to practice that balance euro giving when it's appropriate, but also receiving the wisdom and perspectives others have to offer. How do you balance helping others with taking care of yourself? It's a fine line, and it's something we all navigate, so feel free to share your strategies for finding that balance.